Hi there, my name is Alana here at Classy on the Run. We love talking about luxury beauty, lifestyle, handbags, and today we are talking about the greatest luxury of all for Canadians, and that is going to Target. So if you are new to my channel, hello, hi, welcome. If you are familiar with my channel, then you'll know that I live in Canada and Canada does not have Target. And Target just has the most wonderful variety of things. I, I love going to Target. Also made my way to CVS and Ulta. So this is kind of a, Alana went to the States and bought stuff she didn't need, she didn't know she needed, but then she needed and it was in the States and they just they just had more selection, more choice. So I was in the States, I went to a Billy Joel concert with my dad in Detroit and Detroit has Target and Ulta and CVS and um, my dad didn't come in all the stores with me because I just want to go to the beauty aisle, but you know, we had a good time and I had a good time and I definitely stimulated the US economy. So on that note, let's dive in. Mostly beauty, mostly beauty, but some other stuff. I'm, you know, we're just gonna chat through it, okay. So I can't exactly remember everything from which store. Um, so they're just from American stores. Some of them are available at multiple. So let me just get everything all sorted out. Some of them actually say CVS on it. That was from nowhere. Yeah, so I definitely went shopping. That is becoming very, very clear to me as I take everything out. But I thought it was like pretty good for the most part. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's start with this basket. So I have a few little things in the basket that I'm just going to remove. Okay, there we go. Basket is empty. I bought this sweet little basket. This was definitely a Target purchase. Um, don't know how much it was. I think it was like eight or twelve dollars. And yeah, anyways, I bought this for my bathroom because I want to put all of my hair towels in there um, because I'm always like searching for them. I thought maybe if I had a basket, I'd be more organized. So that's what I bought this for. Um, speaking of bathroom, let's insert some video clip here. But I purchased some beautiful waffle towels that I'm like head over heels for. And then I got a number of these towels. So I got four of the smaller hand towels, two upstairs and two for the main floor. And then I got three. I wish I could have gotten four of the bath towels in the gray, but I got three of them. And then I got two in white that I'm going to put away. But when I was in the store, I just could not stop touching these. They were just so squishy and... Oh, this felt like a spa. Just felt really, really pretty. They're technically decorative, but I think they're going to be fine. I love how they look, and I really just love touching them. And in case anybody is looking, that's a tag. So Casalina Decorative Waffle Bath Towel. They also have them in pink and brown, but I, I really like the grays and whites. It matches the rest of my house. So what I was thinking for the towels is if I absolutely love them, I can always order more online, and I can always just go to Buffalo and buy more. So yeah, I thought I'd test them out, see how I like them, and if I love them, I will complete the set. Okay, so on to beauty, and then at the end we're going to talk about food, because I love, like, the food selection at Target. It's just, it's so fun to me. Okay, so, first up, I purchased for myself this Wet Brush Go Green Detangler. Um, I already have this in a paddle brush in pink, and then I received two in PR, um, and the other was a green one. Um, that my husband took and I find that I the This is more like the oval shape and I find that the oval shape is just I find it's better for my hair So I just purchased myself a pink one um, partly because when I um, Got to the States. I thought I forgot to pack my hairbrush So I bought it and then when we were unpacking I realized I did pack a hairbrush. Uh, I also purchased this this is a mini of the oval um, in green, and my thankfully my husband doesn't watch my videos. Um, my husband is in our bedroom right now, but I purchased this for his Christmas stocking because one, many things are so Christmas stocking appropriate. And he took the green one from me. He loves it, and I thought this would be like good for travel for him or like to keep at his desk at work or whatever. So anyways, I bought that for him because I'm so great. Um, I know for a fact these next two things I purchased at CV, uh, no, uh, I almost bought at CVS but I didn't like the color so I bought them at Ulta. These are from Kitsch, these are satin pillowcases, they're standard size 
in silver so it's sort of a bluey gray our bedroom set is all grays and blues and it's all really designed to be interchangeable and my husband and I love satin we pr we prefer silk but we still love satin pillowcases we're always kind of fighting over them because usually we only have one on the bed each so I've been slowly picking up satin and silk yes I know silk is better silk is also more expensive um to just kind of make all of our pillowcases like that so this was a joint purchase okay next up um okay we're gonna like save the beauty we're gonna like get closer and closer to beauty from cvs i purchased these interdental brushes three of them because they are four of them i left one downstairs because they were buy one get one half off um my dad swears by these we went to three cvs's to find them um he swears by them so i just figured i like dental health so let's buy some and that's really like an investment, right? Um, okay, one thing I did buy, I haven't decided if it's a husband Christmas gift. It will be unless we have friends over. This is, <laughs> who wanna play? This is Cards Against Humanity, the everything box. And um, on the back, I just felt like the prompts were ones that my friends and I would have a lot of fun answering. So one of them is the year's 2150, the president is blank. I think there's a lot of potential for that one to be funny. Uh, and two of the answers were returning all money to its rightful owner, Jeff Bezos. And another one says getting white girl wasted. So even if it was like the year is 2150 and the president is returning all money to its rightful owner, Jeff Bezos, I think that'd be a funny combo. The year is 2150, the president is getting white girl wasted. I think that'd also be funny. So anyways, obviously I don't know what else is in here, but I just thought like an update with some 2022 answers would be kind of fun and I feel like our friends and I, our friends and I, together with our friends we've played a lot of Cards Against Humanity and I just feel like our cards have kind of gotten tired like we've all seen them before so I just thought this would be fun. I think we're having some friends over this summer so I just, I bought that and if we have friends over this summer we'll play it and if we don't play it by then I'll give it to my husband for Christmas. Win win. Okay we're getting to the beauty. Yeah let's... Okay, we're gonna kind of go hair into beauty. So, um, I am really enjoying claw clips. So I purchased this really cute one at Target. We'll get in, I'll get some footage closer. Just a beautiful creamy ivory one. I also purchased this one. It's kind of like yellow with like little purple and white bits. It's very cute. This like all pink one, they were all like $5, okay? Like I've had a really hard time finding good clips in Canada that are like cute and fun and I just I thought they were fun. I also bought this one which broke on me like two days after I got it from CVS. It was so pretty and it held all my hair and now it's broken. So that was disappointing but I saved it so I could share my disappointment with you. Um, then I purchased from Kristen S the Ultra Fine Workable Hairspray. I can't believe this um, but I think I'm bas I think I basically used up all my hairspray which is great um, because like who wants to have waste so I actually bought a new hairspray because I think I needed it. Um, and then from Fakai, I picked up the Brilliant Gloss Shampoo. This I got at Ulta um, because in a recent FabFit Fun Box, I got the conditioner but not the shampoo. So I just wanted to have both to use together. You know, I like to have them to use in pairs. Um, from Ulta, I purchased the Tahitian Vanilla Bean Tree Hut Scrub. Because these things are like $30 on Canadian Amazon. They were like, I don't know, 10 bucks, something like that. Eight to 12, somewhere, something in there at Ulta. And I just, I see people like talking about these and I see American influencers always have these in their empties. And I just wanted to try them. I just wanted to try, they looked fun and affordable and they had like fun scents and Tahitian vanilla bean. Smelled really good. And if you don't know, I love buying any like scent that has Tahiti or Bora Bora on it because that's where we honeymooned and I just I don't know scent memory I just I thought these would be fun so I'm excited to try it um I also picked up from Tree Hut a hydrating sugar face scrub watermelon cactus water AHA I think I've said this a thousand times on my channel but my favorite face scrub by Ulla Henriksen has been discontinued and I'm on the search for a new one I tried the Tula sugar scrub I didn't like it because it dissolved and it was like kind of expensive so but I didn't mind it so I thought maybe if I got a cheaper one I wouldn't mind using more of it if it dissolves I don't know I'm, I'm on the hunt for the perfect face scrub I'll let you know when I find it uh, I did pick up these mini um, Pantene shampoo and conditioners 
I've seen these in Canada, but they're quite expensive, and these were really reasonably priced. I think these were Target. I love the Target travel beauty section. So I picked these up um, just for future travel. And then this is where we're getting more exciting. We have the makeup. So I picked up the L'Oreal uh, Fairest Nude Lipstick. I haven't seen this one in Canada. Maybe it's in Canada. I just haven't seen it. And I just thought that like the fairest nude would probably be flattering on me because I'm really fair and I, li I like nudes. Another brand that I see American influencers talk about all the time is Flower Beauty. And I just find it kind of hard to get a hold of in Canada and kind of pricey. So I picked up the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer in the, um, a shade. Oh, porcelain. Porcelain is like always the shade I go for. Also from Flower Beauty, I picked up this cute little quad called, is it Petal Play? It's called Petal Play. Anyways, it's just a really cute, kind of reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury quad. I'm excited to try. Um, it looks really cute. It looks like a lot of fun. Also, I picked up the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. This has not been available in Canada. If it was, you know I would have bought it to compare to Charlotte Tilbury. And now that I finally bought it, e.l.f. has a new one out. So I'm going to have to like revamp the video idea. And of course, now that I finally bought it, it is available in Canada. Uh, from Maybelline, something I have not seen in Canada, a Shadow Brick. So I purchased, I only purchased one. I wanted to, I had like two or three in my hand, but this is the shade 10 and it's basically like, you know, like rosy, neutral, nude kind of colors. I thought it'd be the most flattering on me. Um, so I'm excited to play with that. Have not seen those in Canada. As you can tell, I'm really looking for like, what can't I buy in Canada? Um, another thing I haven't seen, this is from L'Oreal and it's the Brilliant Eyes Ombre. Brilliant Eyes Liquid Shadow in the shade Crystal Shine. And then I also picked up the Lash Princess Liner. So let me know if you guys want to see maybe like a full face of drugstore makeup. Trying new drugstore makeup, that could be kind of fun. Let me know. So yeah. And then the food. So I thought these were so funny. I've never seen cake at the outlet, at, at, at the checkout. Uh, this is the Cake Bites by Marvel. Black Panther Cake Bites. And I actually bought two of these. And these were actually like really yummy, especially for like cake at the Target checkout. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm gonna start a clip right now of all the food I bought, because I love buying interesting food in the US. So rather than bringing these up to my beauty room, I wanted to show you the fun food I got at Target just before I put it in my pantry. So first up from Annie's, we have the shells and white cheddar. I've actually never tried an Annie's, um, I won't call it craft dinner, but an Annie's mac and cheese, um, but they had them all over Target, I wanted to try them. From Goldfish, this looks new to me, or maybe it's US only, I don't really know. But these are the s'mores, these are Goldfish grams, and they just look really fun. Probably the thing that I'm most excited about is this lime crema sauce um, for tacos and things like that, and bowls, and I've been really enjoying these at restaurants, so I'm excited to have one at home. And then my dad really recommended this pasta sauce from Rouse, so I got the tomato basil, and then he really recommended the marinara. Um, this was about five bucks at Target, and apparently you can get it in Canada for like $13, so wanted to try it. From Marvel, Marvel, sorry, from the original Cake Bites. These are Black Panther Cake Bites. They're apparently great for birthdays. They've got some cake and yeah. Anyways, I've never heard of these. They had these at the checkout and those were just an impulse purchase. We have some fried Oreos. I thought they'd be shaped like a heart, but I tried one and they're just regular Oreos. That was disappointing packaging though and then we have firework oreos which have pop rocks inside of them so i don't know i always like getting funny interesting oreo packaging oreo flavoring when i'm in the states because we don't have these ones in canada and then finally uh, my husband and i have a little bit of a tradition of me buying him the weirdest spiciest things i can find and the winner is the mountain dew flaming hot uh dew with a blast of heat and citrus it just it looked interesting so he's gonna try that tonight Okay, so that is all this Canadian purchased at Target. I'm very happy with my purchases. I think they're a lot of fun. Let me know if you want to see me test anything out. Honestly, I just, I enjoy shopping in the States. I think it's a lot of fun. I had a great time in Detroit with my dad. I had a great time at the Billy Joel concert. And um, I had a great time at Target. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like hauls, makeup try-ons, luxury handbags, just pretty girly life stuff, um, then I'm your girl. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.